Yes, hello. I'd like a listing for a Mary Richards Cronin. Or a Congressman Stephen Cronin. Probably unlisted, huh? Yeah, but see, I know her very well. Yeah. All right, wait. How about this? How about you call her and tell her that I'm trying to reach her? That way I wouldn't ever have to know the number myself. I... Thanks a lot. A complete stranger. Oh, I am sorry. I thought you were someone else. You look just like her from the back. Is this going to take much longer? I have an appointment in two hours. Mary? 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 Stop! <laughs> Oh, Rona! What are you doing here? I hope it's okay. I got the address from your mother. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course it's okay. I've been trying to call you. You were? Yes. Well, I had your number too, but I was yeah. nervous to call. So here I am. Oh, here you are. And it's Rona, 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 Rona! <laughs> and it's Mary. Oh, kids. Over the years, I wanted to call you so many times. You were right. What? Job here was so wrong for me. Oh, no. Oh, I should yeah. never have said anything. Oh, yes, you, you were no. being a good friend, and I was being stupid. No, you were never so he wasn't right for me. I'm sure he's right for a million other women, at least 10 of which I knew about. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I got the greatest daughter out of it. Oh, yes, I can't wait to see her. <laughs> little Meredith. Well, not so little anymore, Miss. Yeah. She's up at Barnard in pre med. Oh, yeah. Wow. Pretty good, huh? Great. <laughs> and Rose. Rose is at NYU, and she's just great. That's great. Now, is somebody going to pay me here? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. It's it's just that it's. It's Rhoda! <laughs> Rhoda! Hey, my God, we're in the street. Come, come. Hold it! Your mother told me about Stephen. I'm so sorry. How long's it been? Five months. It was a rock climbing accident. I didn't know he was that athletic. Well, he wasn't. How you doing, kid? Okay. Do you have time for lunch now? You bet. Oh, good. I'm a vegetarian now, Mayor. So let's go grab a BLT. Hold the B. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that I'm never going to see him again, that he's actually gone. That's, that's the one thing I can't get over. Till death there was part. Can you believe that actually sounds romantic at a wedding? How sick is that? <laughs> oh, I miss laughing with him. Miss the conversations. Well, you know, I can still do that, just won't look for a response, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, kid, huh? About what? Well, I don't want to be a drag. Oh, please. We could cry from morning till night, and it would still be more fun than the last five years of my marriage. In fact, it would be a lot like the last five years of my marriage. Oh, tell me about you. What did oh. you do in Paris? Mostly, I was one hell of a mother. Oh. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a few jobs here and there, but Meredith was the main event. Let me tell you, it's not easy to arrange a kid's birthday party in a bowling alley in Paris. <laughs> and Meredith and I, oh, Mary, we are such good friends. Oh, that's wonderful. Did I tell you she's going to be a doctor? Several times. Good, because I want to get my money's worth out of it. So what? Uh, did you stay in the news business? No, no, I left about eight years ago. I was an in-studio producer for ABC News. Wait a minute, hold it. Little Mary Richards from Minneapolis? <laughs> running the network No, now. come on, I wasn't running it, but it was a good job, and I was good at it, and I <sighs> was successful and uh, respected. Mary, fabulous. Yeah. Oh. And then, one day, Rose said something that really changed my life. She was 12 years old. She said, that's OK. I'll go with Diane. How do you recover from something like that? Well, it was mother-daughter night at school. See, and Diane was her babysitter. 
And it occurred to me, how many nights like that had I missed, you know? Recitals, plays, gave my notice and quit. And I went to the mother-daughter night. How was it? Hard, but fulfilling. I meant mother-daughter night. So did I. <laughs> and you never looked back. No, never. Born again mother here. <laughs> and you, what's next for you? I feel like the world's opened up for me. Uh, after Jean-Pierre and I separated, I went back to my first love. Of course, you can only eat for so long, so I went back to my second love. Which was art. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have taken up uh, photography, you know, pretty seriously. I even had a couple of shows in Paris. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> and that's what I want to do here. I, I want to get a show. I think the Met would be interested. Oh, what's this? Yes. Right, right. It's very purple and lovely. I think it would look lovely on No. Yes. Yes. You look great. Really <laughs> confident. Well, I got to tell you, Mayor, I am. You know how I used to complain about being alone. <laughs> I love it now. Maybe you can teach me how to love it again. For the life of me, I just can't seem to remember. Oh. Well, I know just where to start with you. Like this? Yes, but get the palms together. Face, no, facing, that's it. Energy between. <laughs> All right. Oh, what can I tell you, Mayor? <laughs> I, yeah, good. I've been on this big spiritual quest. I studied every religion. Yeah. And I found myself, Rhoda, right there between Jewish and Shaker. <laughs> so now I can make my own furniture and sell it retail. Oh, I missed you. Oh, uh, me too. Listen, I have to go. I have to meet Rose at the lawyers. Oh, OK. Where are you staying? Uh, the Chester Hotel. Uh -huh. It's not so great. And you know you should worry when their sign is a dead old lady in a rocking chair. <laughs> but it's fine. No, it's... listen, why don't you stay with me? Oh, Mary, I please, didn't mean that. Please, I have so much space. Your company would mean so much to me. Really? You'd have to bring your own towel rack. Well, I was going to steal the towels. Yeah. So I'll just pull a little harder. There you go. <laughs> OK. All right. Oh, Mary, what were we thinking? I don't know. But let's never think it again. <laughs> oh. Great. I bet it looked better on you. <laughs> See you later. Bye. I'll call. Bye. Love you. gonna be okay in there, right? Oh, honey. A lawyer's office is hardly a hotbed of emotion. What? Gerald? I don't understand. Mom, Dad lost all our money. Yes, I what I do understand. I just don't know how I wasn't aware that it happened. What happened? Well, he, he took some pretty risky loans for his campaigns. He, he mortgaged your summer house for that last run. Oh! What am I going to do? Listen, I'll drop out of school. It's going to save you a ton of money, okay? No, no, Rose, please. One catastrophe at a time. Do you have any of your own savings? Yes, a little. Yes, I do. I just can't believe it. Your dad used to love to find coins under the cushion. It never occurred to me that he actually needed them. I'm so sorry, Mary. Well, it's all right. I'll just, um, I'll get a job. Doing what? Thanks for your vote of confidence, Rose. I'm sorry. Listen, you've been out of the news business a really long time, and just between you and me, you're, you're not really getting any younger. Yes, dear, I think one or two people are aware of that also. It's going to be all right. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Everything is going to be 